Okay, so if you've been watching me for the last two years or so, you may know about a YouTuber that I branded the fakest YouTuber on the site, and with good reason. He made, like, fake haunted house videos pretending to get stabbed. It was basically just, like, you know, fake JayStation S type stuff. There was a number of other things he did, like he went on Snapchat and blamed his fans because his, his videos were getting low views. It, it was really strange. He basically just had a go at them over Snapchat. But after my video, he made a response type video which i actually thought was pretty decent it's 25 minutes long and about two years old at this point so i'm not going to go into it because if i do it'll be half the video but he basically said yeah i shouldn't have made fake videos and presented them as real and you know Fair enough. He also said sorry for the other stuff he did. And again, fair enough. People change, you know? So I think it would be a fair assumption to say his content has calmed down a little bit. I was taken and beaten and nearly burnt alive not clickbait one month ago. Oh, good. So in today's video, I thought we could look at three videos he's uploaded recently with the most outrageous titles I could find, starting with that one. Now, admittedly, I don't know which ones are going to be the most outrageous. There could be more outrageous ones on his channel. But honestly, I refuse to watch more than three of these because they're quite long and very boring. Now, before people go over to his videos and be like, grr, Lewis Clark, bad, by the way, his, his name's Lewis Clark. I don't think he's a bad person for making fake videos or, or making bad videos. I just think they're hilariously bad and I want to talk about them. Okay, so literally as I was editing this part, I saw he was live on YouTube. So I went and watched it and he, he was saying he, he was going to like catch someone lacking or something. I don't know. Just watch this. Someone will catch him on road and, and someone will, will, um, We'll speak to do him. what feels necessary at the yeah time. that's what we're gonna say public wise but like obviously i'm not i'm gonna i will catch him slipping i, I will film him you'll, you'll see a video right the biggest video ever you'll see a video at some point in the next couple of years confronting ginger jaffa or confronting well, the drug dealer us he's too scared. we're working on it i got a team working on where he chills oh god this is tragic oh this is so tragic like this is like what year nines do when they get in an argument with each other also what do you mean you got a team working on finding out where he chills like who do you think you are the mafia but i i, I want to know the backstory to this i don't know the backstory to this ginger jaffa story but I'm, re I'm really interested anyway back to the video also before going into this let's bear in mind all his t every single one of his titles ends in not clickbait and in the description he basically says he's putting his life in danger what is going on guys all these videos have a warning at the start but it never tells you what it's warning you of warning you're going to see uh blood you're going to see someone get killed warning flashing lights like what what is it warning us of warning this video is going to be shit if you guys are new to the channel please do subscribe if you haven't already then make sure to follow me on instagram it's very very vital that you guys are following me on instagram today's video is going to be absolutely the same why exactly is it are we going to die if we don't follow you on instagram Lewis clark are we going to die if we don't see images like this that being said it is it is vital that uh you subscribe to me though what are you doing bro why are you getting so close to my face, bro? Oh, yeah, you're a, you're a weird guy, bro. No, that clip there was just so funny. I, I had to see it three individual times and then once again slowed down to get the full comedic impact of that moment. There are tears rolling down my face like this is me right now. But the beginning of this video is just very boring. They're basically just walking around a greenhouse doing next to nothing. Bro, there's someone here, bro. Who the f*** is that? Who? That guy over there, bro. What, in the mirror? Yeah. That's you. Nah, bro. That ain't me. That is definitely you. He's squaring up, bro. He's squaring up. What? What? You want some, yeah? It's just, it's just so unfunny. And that's coming from me, the man who still makes Joe Mama jokes in July 2020. Why did they think that this was, <laughs> this should be left in the video? Like, sound you tell Boom Bumba Clark, right? Boom right. Um, you're from Devon, mate. Get a grip. The floor is so dodgy. Yeah. Oh, I really noticed it, John. Oh, fucking hell. Ah! Well, uh, uh, alright then. What's that? What the f*** was that? You'd think his mates just have a more dramatic reaction to their mate getting dragged off into a corridor. I guess it's just a regular occurrence because they, they're always doing um, epic, crazy, uh, scary, haunted house things. Oh, 
Oh, well, isn't that convenient? The murderer that just waits in this abandoned house for whatever reason has had the courtesy to set up a camera and film all this for Lewis's YouTube channel. How nice of him. There isn't even a mark. They didn't even cut through the hoodie. This is the worst murderer ever. Like, you think they commit to this a little bit, like, you know, tear up the hoodie a little bit. This is, this is truly pathetic from them. This goes on a bit. Like, this whole segment of just them, like, him wrestling him to the floor and apparently it's, he's not actually hitting him with stuff, obviously, but, like, pretending to hit him with stuff. This goes on for two and a half, two and a half minutes, uncut. The same angle. Like, this really goes on. Just kiss already. But then his mate save him from this man who has uh, a plethora of weapons at his disposal and uh, take him outside unscathed from this uh, experience. Right, pause for a couple of seconds. This is your chance right now. I'm going to give you a countdown to like the video. Yeah, I just got brutally tortured and nearly fucking died, but like the video. So get liking the video now. Oh my... <laughs> Right, first off, what is this music choice? Is Lewis Clark a 12-year-old boy in 2010 that just discovered dubstep? And also, that immediately discredits the title and description. This video was just made for entertainment. We tried to make it more like a film. Here's some behind-the-scenes and bloopers. That discredits the not clickbait in the title. Now, my thoughts and prayers go out to the to the Clarky fam because they thought they, they were getting a real... Um, Haunted house torture murder uh, video here right up until the very end. It's 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 this hard. To, it's disgusting That's what it is But I think with that video you get the gist of what he's been up to recently and the, the, the gist of general gist of his channel So I'm just gonna skim through the last two because I'm losing the will to live w with his videos They're so boring and I know it's not like proper constructive criticism to be like low so boring So I'm, I'm gonna give him some quick pointers one you need to make your video shorter Lewis Clark They go on for so they go on for too long man. I'm trying to think of a second pointer but honestly they're just I, I can't think of it they're just bad <laughs> i can't put my finger on why maybe it's the acting i think it's mainly just like the videos are 95 percent filler like he has the potential to have a good channel here but even if it is like scripted out uh scenarios and stories i think they have the potential to be good but they're, they're just not <laughs> but anyway we're just gonna skim through the last two because i really cannot be asked and also there's something i want to talk about at the end so uh, anyway the next video we're gonna be looking at is called we saved her dog from being buried alive very emotional not clickbait uh basically the premise of this one is some fella stole his girlfriend's dogs and, and he wants to swap the dog for her so Lewis is going along with it and they're gonna try and pull the old switcheroo. One, go. Daisy, Daisy! Fuck. Shit, bro! Oi! Oi! This man is awful at his job. He's got one job here and he is, he is it massively. There are a million better ways. So I, I reckon I could be a better kidnapper than this man. He is pathetic at his job. But yeah, that's it for that video. I'm, I'm not, I can't be asked to watch it because the rest of the video is just filler. So jumping onto the third video, uh, this one's called Boy Found Drowning in Coffin in Abandoned Mental Asylum. We saved it. Oh, God. And this video is described by Lewis as the biggest situation we've ever been in. Yo, bro. Yo. Yo, man. I mean, they've got a prop for this video. I, I, I give them props <laughs> for that. Oh, great pun from me. But that, I give them props for actually getting some props. But they could they could just smash the glass. It doesn't look... It's not like bulletproof glass, is it? They could smash that. But yeah, you guessed it. At the end of the video, he gets out of the coffin, obviously. I, I think these videos are kind of predictable. Like, you, you're, not, you're never going to see someone die on a Lewis Clark video. Let's be realistic. But anyway, those are the three videos I wanted to talk about now let's get into saying I, I wanted to discuss at the end of this video because this is like a follow-up I, I guess you consider this a follow-up video so has lewis clark changed at the beginning when i was first planning out this video i thought yeah i mean i haven't heard anything about this guy i, I don't really look into him too much but like i haven't heard much about this guy in like two years his apology was good his videos are still like bad but like it don't mean he's a bad person does it but then like literally as i was editing this video i saw that live stream and i couldn't get many clips from it because he took it down literally as soon as he stopped streaming but one final clip i got was something i called him out for in my last video and that was blaming his subscribers for not uh showing enough support or whatever and just look at this final clip i got from his stream the more support we get on the channel the more videos that i'll be able to post there's the link to sam's new video i'm gonna refresh it i want to see over 100 likes come on 30 likes sam and ryan thank you for the two pound donation 30 likes guys where are you
Now, obviously, I didn't get the whole clip because he took down the stream, but I did. I did see the whole thing, and he just he just threw a hissy because people didn't go and like his mate's video. I said this in my last video, and I will say it again: nobody, including your subscribers, owes you anything, Lewis. Nobody owes you or your mates anything. If they don't want to go over and like their video, they're not obliged to. It doesn't make them a bad supporter of you or whatever. If they don't want to go over and like a video, they don't have to. Now, I obviously, didn't get any more than this on recording, but I swear to you, it got worse. Of this, he he got he got he basically threw a hissy over it. It was basically like, why are you even here if you're not showing support? And by showing support, I mean liking his friend's video. Like, get a grip, man. So, do I think he's changed? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know the guy really, so I can't say. But based on this live stream, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna have to say I'm hesitant to saying yes. But anyway, guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, as always, please don't send any hate over to Lewis Clark. It's just unneeded. Um, if this video doesn't hit 500,000 and likes i will not be happy if you don't smash like on this video and subscribe you disgust me but yeah anyway guys um once again i hope you enjoyed and i'll, I'll see you in a bit bye bye